Hello guys, this is Leipniz back and uh, I am going to make a Jax guide, so uh, here it is. Buy Rage Blade and you win the game. Yep, that's pretty much how it is, but uh, now we're gonna show you one game I played here. So Jax is really not that hard to play, like anyone can play him. It's not like Graves Top or some shit that's a little hard, but this shit is really easy, so everyone can do it. Uh, so who are we facing this game? We are facing right no Shaco Top. Yeah, so obviously he's not going to be able to do anything. But uh, what the hell is happening here? Well, this is uh, some nice platinum level one here. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is gonna be full fucking chaos. Well, this is not a part for Jack's guide, but it's fun, so I might switch out. Alright, so I start the game with one kill. Um, but, uh, and one assist, but the thing is, the advantage is not that much, because you can only buy boots, and because this guy's fucking stealing the red buff. So, this guy's gonna be level 2 already, and have a level advantage, so, you know. This guy just cheesing. It's pretty smart, actually. But. Oh yeah, he does get level 2, of course. Or does he? I think he does, if he does the whole shit. He should do, at least. No, he doesn't. Anyway, uh, as for the guide, um, Jax is really fucking easy. I mean, early game you just farm. You can cheese if like because your E is really fucking strong. And that's when I what I see here. Like when I see he's here with no fucking HP, I just aggro him. But the box fucks me a little anti as red buff, so just some small harass. Uh, anyway, I don't want to show the whole video because it's a pretty long game, I think, so I'm gonna skip through some parts. But as for early laning, I'm just showing you here kind of what you need to do. I mean, I, it's pretty bad of an example of a game, actually, because I'm facing a Shaco, but he has red buff, so it's not that easy, actually. But early game, you should just try to farm against most top lane champions. That's pretty hard because Jax is trash early game, and they're gonna try to deny you. But this is a Shaco, so I have a pretty easy time farming. If that stun land, I could have actually killed him, so it was pretty unfortunate. But yeah, again, this is not really how you're usually gonna lane top with Jax, because normally you're gonna face, I don't know, a Riven, a Malphite, or just some champion that's not completely useless. So Shaco is useless, so it's a bit easier for me. It's really easy to escape ganks with Jax, as you can see. And this guy fights me when there's 60 minions shooting him, that's why I just keep fighting him. But he has double buffs, so it's hard, but my jungle was here, so... Now I get double buffs and the lane is over. Uh, Shaco is not gonna be able to do anything, on top of that he is AP, so... Uh, don't I get the pickaxe as well here? I should be able to afford pickaxe. I can't see the gold. I ah, know I can't. I'm hundred off. So then I just buy another magic mantle because I realize this guy's AP and he's probably gonna spam uh, like his shiv and shit. So let's speed this shit up. I mean now everything changes of course. Like as I said, you should just farm early with Jax. But now that I have double buffs, of course I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to snowball this, and that's why I'm aggroing him here. I get a nice chunk of half his HP, he gets some back, but I mean, uh, I have potions and shit, so it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, basically the goal for Jax early is just farm until you have Rage Blade, and when you have Rage Blade you win the game. It's really not hard at all. But uh, since I'm facing a shackle top and shit, I can afford to farm while like trying to get kills, so it's a little different. 
But I think we're just gonna skip through this early game because as I say said it's just really easy against the Shaco, so we're just gonna fast forward a little. I don't think anything happens and if it does we're just gonna go back and watch it if something important happens. But yeah, just normal laning while trying to kill him. Nothing special. Just CSing and zoning. I can dive him here, right? Yeah. So we can go over the kill. Uh, the, what I wanted him to do was to use his Q. That's why, like, I can easily just kill him right here. But uh, I want him to attack me first to aggro the minions. He does it there. That's when I go in. And also, I was scared of his Q. So. Yeah, he makes the mistake of attacking me, aggroing all, like, all the minions, and then I can just dive him. I really want him to use his Q, but he didn't, But so I just had to go for it, and it worked. Uh, let's see, yeah, obviously, skill order, you max W first, and then Q second, and it's all for the cooldown reduction. Like, uh, your E is just your E. Leveling W gives damage and like CDR, so it gives like a, a million damage. Your Q yeah, goes down to CDR as well, and like your E, it's nice to have it on a lower CD, but uh, it doesn't give any damage, and that's that's why I max it last. Uh, let's see, so yeah, I'm 3 0 at 7 minutes. Not really normal for the jacks, but. Shit have happened, so that's where we're at. I still don't have my rage blade, but even just with the pickaxe, you're gonna do a million damage after level six. I'm probably gonna show you here. Normally, this is when the interesting part comes with Jax after you're level six, because now you can start like autoing two minions and then do this. He has Q, of course, so it's harder to get off the auto attack. But that's generally how you want to lay in with Jax after you're level 6. Just auto a minion two times and then WQ and auto attack once and then just back off. You don't want to all in people, you just want to poke people with that combo until like you can all in them with your E. Uh, again, this is harder versus Shaco because he can just Q when I jump him. But you get the point. I'm probably still going to manage to do it sometimes. Um... So, yeah, again, just farming really now, and I can't harass him when he's under a tower, so, but it's still good pushing him to tower, because he can't see us very well. Right now I'm being three-man ganked, which is quite common when you're jacks, because everyone hates you, because you're OP, but normally you don't have a very hard time escaping, even with three people here, you see. I can, not easily, but I can get away. So they sent three people for nothing, we are going to get Drake from it, they don't get anything. I actually play stupid as hell here, I should have never died. It's really obvious he's going to do it. But uh, it's a Shaco, so it doesn't mean much. We're gonna get Drake from it, they just like do some shit first. We are getting Drake from this, right? I'm almost sure we get it. Yeah, now we get it. So we get Drake for it, they couldn't contest because like their jungler is top and shit. Uh, I still don't have my rage blade and that is unfortunate for me. Normally you actually have it by, t by uh, 10 minutes if you're this snowballed. I just played the Jax game and I had it at exactly 10 minutes when I snowballed equally with this. But I bought, like rushed this for some reason so that's why I don't have it. Anyway, let's speed it up, because there's nothing really to watch. It's more the late game I want to show you, because... And the other thing, when you're playing against Shaco, like, it's not that easy for me to just poke him with the WQ ultimate combo either, because he has boxes, and then if I jump and I get feared, then, you know, he gets the better trade. So it's a little bit of a strange lane, and that's why it's not really much of a point for me to show you the laning. Because it's just a fucking Shaco, you're never going to face a Shaco top. But... And again, I don't care if Shaco harasses me. Um, I have biscuits. Ah, oh, there I managed to pull it off one time, so let's just watch it. So... Just to show you the combo once. I attack one... 
Ah, uh, no, I didn't even do it. But it, it, that just... You see how much damage it does, even without, like, the ultimate. I didn't have the ultimate proc there, and I still did half his health. I guess we can over go over the masteries as well. As you saw there, I run Thunderlords. I run uh, 12, 18... Uh, yeah, 12, 18, 0 mastery, so I just get like AD, AP shit in uh, the offensive, and then I get Thunder Lords in uh, like the second tree. Uh, which ones you take, it doesn't really matter much. You're gonna realize which ones to take, but uh, normally you just want the. Uh, Generally, you just want to like hybrid shit. Like you know, in the second three, there is the magic and armor pen. You take that. In the offensive three, there's the AD and the AP shit. You take that shit. So it's not really that hard to figure out. As long as you get thunder lords and shit, that's all really all the OP shit. As for uh, runes, there are two different things that I uh, run. Uh, it all depends on what I'm facing and shit. Uh, let's watch this first. Uh, this was actually really stupid of me. I shouldn't have got him on that. I thought I had enough damage, but I didn't have my rage blade stacked or anything, so I couldn't get him. So that was really stupid death. I should have enough rage blade now, right? Yeah, now I have enough rage blade. So we're actually gonna get to see the OP shit in action finally. Uh, runes. There are two paths you can go down. You can either do the uh, you can either do the 15 AD and like uh, armor and magic resist uh, shit, or you can do uh, 15 attack speed, like uh, 6.8 physical damage and armor and magic resist. Uh, I switch uh, most of the time depending on the matchup, but uh, like I would say 80% of the time I take the 15 AD and it's just for the easier last sitting in lane. Because like uh, the attack speed. It's uh, much better late game, but it's useless early game, and early game is where Jack suffers the most, and in late game he's OP no matter what masteries or runes you have. And runes, the purpose of that is generally to buff the early game anyway, so... And also, Jax has really high base AD, he has 62 base AD, so when you... When you go... Uh, when you go 15 AD on him, he has like 84, 83 AD at level 1, and that actually lets you trade really well and last it really easily. So that's why I'm going more for that. But when I face like lanes that are really fucking easy, like against this uh, Sh Shaco, I took the attack speed because I knew he wasn't going to be a threat early game anyway. So basically, if you're facing a hard lane, you just take the 15 AD. If you're facing an easy lane, like, I don't know, Nasus or Shaka or someone that has no damage early, you take the attack speed, basically. Uh, I guess I should also talk about the early item, because that is actually a little tricky. I always start Dorn's Blade and one potion. I know a lot of people start, like, the flask shit, but I don't think it's good at all, because... The Dorn's Blade gives you enough sustain already, and it actually makes you able to trade. And, yeah, like, the flask, it it doesn't give as much sustain as you think. Like, the one biscuit you get, or one potion or whatever, with the Doran's Blade is normally almost as much sustain as the flask. It's a little less, but then again, it gives the stats, like the AT health, the attack damage, and all that shit. So, for me, it's just better. Uh, it's also, like... Doran's Blade is an uh, item you can keep for some while, and then like the tree lifesteal or whatever it has, it goes really well with the Gunblade lifesteal and spell vamp and shit, so it's just pretty good. Here I get 3 man ganked again, but as I said earlier, it's really not hard to escape with Jax, as long as you just have the ward jump Q shit with the trinket and the flash, you can almost always get away really easily. Uh, what if I actually still don't have the gunblade? So this is one of the latest gunblades ever, which is actually really funny considering how fed I got. That's what happens when you buy Mercury Treads early at least. But again, this was a game where I didn't really need to have the Rage Blade early because it's fucking Shaco. As you can see, I have almost... I have double his CS. He has 6530, so Shaco can't do shit against the Jax. And now when I back I have Gunblade as well, so then he's just really doomed. 
Let's just skip this. Nothing is going on. Okay, so I finally have my gunblade. I also have some life still now, so he can't do shit. So let's see how laning goes. I think this shackle play is really passive, so nothing really happens, but we'll see. Now I just want to push like this when I can start just pushing everything and they can't do anything. I don't even care if a jungler comes, I can probably just kill him. So, that's the annoying shako damage. I think I'm gonna place a pink here. Yeah, placing a pink. So I can check if I get 3 man ganked, like I've already gotten 2 or 3 times this game. Uh, this harassed shako is done, doesn't mean anything, which I'm gonna show you here. With the uh, lifesteal from uh, the Doran's Blade and the uh, lifesteal item of Empiric Scepter, you're just healed to full on one wave, so I really don't care if I get harassed by this Shekko, and I just want to push, but these boxes is what is making it really fucking annoying. And also I'm a bit paranoid of uh, their jungler and their mid, because they have been topped so many times. But uh, pushing him into tower like this, it's gonna make him miss more CS, and I already have like double CS, so it's just gonna extend. I see, uh, I see, I could go aggressive there, but as you see, he can just escape so easily with Q. But I'm trying to arrest him now because I have the rage blade. Here I get ganked by their support, so. Even their bot lane has found their way top now, and this is gonna happen when you play Jax and you get ahead, you're gonna get ganked all the fucking time, because... Let's face it, Jax is fucking OP, so they are after your balls all the time. I realize now that this is a really fucking bad video to, to make a Jax guide off, because this fucking Shackle is just not doing anything, but it's the only shit I have. Like, the alternatives was a game where I went like 0-3 or something, or some jungle games, and I didn't have it, so... This is just gonna be the one you have to watch. But, I mean, as I said, I am repeating myself, but just so you noobs understand. Nothing can really go wrong as long as you don't fuck up too hard early game. You just farm till you have the Rage Blade, and now... If I were facing a normal champion, he would be dead many times already. Or like, not have farm or anything, but since I'm facing a fucking Shaco, this is what happens. So, just farming, chilling. Trying to get my gun blade. Yeah, I can go over the bit. I know, maybe a fight happens now. No. So the build is always the same, pretty much. Uh, you rush rage blade into gun blade into Trinity Force into either Sterax or GA. Like those two depends. And boots is either Mercury Threads or Ninja Tabby, it depends on what you're facing. Uh, let's see. This is the first team fight, which we win easily because we have Jax on the team. I think we will get those as well. Yeah, this guy has to flash at least, yeah, so he flashes. So, n nothing can really stop you now. Uh, you don't even have your gun blade yet, but you're pretty much unstoppable. Normally though, you don't want a teamfight with Jax, you just want to split push, because you can 1 vs 5 people, but... It's sh this Shaq is really fucking annoying, so I just teamfight little this game. Uh, so yeah, as I said, Rage Blade, and then Gun Blade, and then Trinity Force, and then the next is gonna depend. If you're like far ahead and you're not really scared of dying, just get Sterax for more damage. Uh, if you like are going to, and also that's better for split pushing. If you're going to team fight or you're like scared of getting bursted or some shit, just get the GA. Uh, this Rise thinks that he can one with one of Jax, but here you can see for the first time why I want to split push with Jax and like. Uh, how nobody can beat him. Rice is actually a strong one vs one -er, but th I have full stacks on my Rage Blade, so there's just nothing he can do. He gets instantly wrecked. 
I believe he, yeah, I had ignite, alright. So yeah, I also have ignite advantage, and that's why I take ignite to me on him. I never take TP anymore, TP is not good. TP is just not a good spell, I have no idea what they have to do TPs. And that's the thing, you don't even need TP to split push with him, because... When you split push with him, if there's no one there, you're gonna end the game. Or get an inhibitor, or get a million towers, or whatever. Uh, and if they send 80 people, normally you have a team that are gonna capitalize from it, taking dragon, taking mid tower, bot tower, baron, like whatever, you get the point. So, you don't need TP, you just take ignite. Or exhaust in very rare situations, but... Against the Trundemir I would probably take Exhaust, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, the, the game is already won, like it probably seems pretty close, we are 2.5k ahead, and that's pretty much all on me and uh, Morgana. But, when you're Jax and you are at this point in the game where I get Gunblade here, Unless your team throws hard, or you throw hard, or the enemy make it like the 6th outplay ever, you can't lose, because it's just too OP. Let's see if we can get some action here. So I come down for Drake, that's pretty much one of the only times where I leave my lane to go and do Drake. They can't contest it, because they have like 60 people in base. Yeah, Ezreal is fed this game, so as you can see, he actually does a lot of damage to me, and that's also why I don't like the team fight. I can just get poked, I can get kited. It's much better to split push, because as long as they don't run away from you, you can easily 3 every swan them, but in team fight, obviously, they're gonna kite you. But if they 3 man gank you, they're not gonna kite you. They're just gonna think, yeah, we caught this noob, and then you pentakill them. So that's why I prefer to split push. Like, as you can see right now, uh, they are pushing 5 mid, we have 4 people, they are like pinging me to come, but I realize uh, me coming doesn't do anything. Even if they kill my team or whatever, I will still get everything. But somehow they killed Nautilus in a 4 versus 5, so I'm just pushing while this is going on. I don't even care what happens there, but if they win, of course, that's good for us. So I get one free tower. They are now finally backing because they realize what the fuck this guy is ending the game. I don't give a shit. And you see how fast he takes towers as well. It takes like 10 seconds to get the tower at max. So here they are. I believe I'm gonna kill at least one. Uh. Uh, yeah, no, they had exhaust, so if they didn't have the exhaust, they would have probably killed everyone. But they had it, so... I died. Uh, while that happened, of course, my team got mid-tower, and this is what I mean, like... I got two towers from that split push, we won the team fight for us as five somehow. I, uh, they got mid-tower while they killed me. So... Uh, that is really with all your whole goal as Jax, uh... That's your game plan as Jax, basically. Farm till you are this strong and then split push the rest of the game. So, I'm just going back to split pushing. Because if I team fight, this Astral can actually wreck me or the Rise. So I just split push. I don't. If you, like, say I went and te team fought here. As I said earlier, the game is already over. But if I go team fight, it's not because then I can actually like get wrecked. But I can't get wrecked doing this. There's no way they can wreck me. So as long as my team plays smart as they're doing now, except of Vayne, this Vayne was a real fucking retard. Like she did that shit all the time. All they had to do was group is four, and then we couldn't lose. But Vayne was always doing like that crap. But still, it doesn't matter much. Uh, they are like fighting for Everett 5, so I have no idea what they are doing, but they managed to escape, I believe. Yes, no, yes. So, meanwhile, I'm still just split pushing. No matter what happens, I am destined on the gold split push. I'm not actually sure why I'm running mid right here. I shouldn't be running mid. But I think I'm gonna get some kills. 
or maybe not. Nope. So here you see exactly why it's not smart for me to run mid. If I was pushing top now, I could have been at inib. So this is about the only mistake I make this game. Of course, Vayne is still being an asshole, but I would have had an inhib now if I didn't commit for no reason. So. I'm just looking for something to push your farm right now, since there's nothing really to do, I'm just taking this shit. But now I can go back to split pushing top, uh, I think, yeah. My team finally groups us 4 mid, so... Now I can finally, like, start the wreckage. And Vayne goes to farm bottom, so... I need to wait. I have my 3. When you have these 3 items... You're going to see if someone ever fights me, it's probably not gonna happen, because I split push and shit, but... I can pentakill with this shit, basically, I just do so much damage. So, my team is like losing a fight or something, but as I said, I don't care, I'm gonna get in inhib if they don't stop me. And that's worth more than a few kills. So, they sent only the Shaco, he of course can't do shit, I just ignore him, take the inhib. There you see the damage, that was just a normal QW auto attack. Now he is going to die. Ah, now I jumped the wrong way. That might get me killed. Yeah, it gets me killed. I get this guy there. Uh, so yeah, that was a classic example of split pushing. Get the one for one, get in hip. Team wins the fight because they have to send lots of people for me. So now I got the top inhib, and that's the like thing you need to realize. When you have the inhib, you just go to the opposite lane. You got the top inhib, you go to bottom, and this is when your team can start pressuring Baron as well. Like if they send 80 people to you now, then you will, your team will get Baron. So once you get the top inhib, the game really like shifts around, and the enemy uh, almost can't do shit, as if they already could do shit when you're they're facing a Jax. But yeah, so right now they have two bottom. I fake that I'm backing, but I don't actually back. So this rise is dead. I'm three levels ahead because I've been splitting the whole game. They try to teleport or some shit, but that's just gonna be another free kill for me afterwards. So right now they committed almost four people to bot. I got the kill, I live, they can keep on split pushing. As you can see though, my team did the completely wrong thing. Let's see. At this point, they can do Baron. I believe I'm even pinging the Baron. Let's go even more back and see the first time. So this is when I'm killing Rice. My team is backing and doing like random shit like idiots. I'm killing them. My team is doing blue buff. There, I pinged Baron now. They keep doing blue, they're like using three people to do blue, they're trying to help me. My pre-mate, here, Rowan, is the only guy that like realizes, go to the fucking Baron. I'm like pinging a thousand times, Vayne still doesn't understand. She still doesn't understand, I ping it hundred more times, and since she doesn't understand, I just go there myself, like... I want to be the one split pushing, but if she's never gonna listen, I might as well just do the Baron myself. Uh, so I believe that's what's uh, happening. Yeah. So Vayne didn't want to do the Baron, I just do it myself. And that's what sometimes happens in solo queue, that some readout just never listens, and then you just need to do it yourself. Now I can start splitting with Baron, and like I said, the game is over at this point. This guy gets caught, he dies. I don't even need to split push anymore, because just so far out with Baron. So we're just ending the game now. Nothing much to show. Shaco thinks he can mess with the Jax, but he learns his lesson. Now I think we just kill them and end the game, it's nothing much really. Maybe we back once first, I really have no idea, but... 
the game is over. It was once I finished the Rage Blade. That's how Jack's games goes. You get your Rage Blade, you win the game. Yeah, we back one last time before we finish. So, back to my split pushing. Top inhib is back, but I can still be bot. This guy gets caught. So you can see how easy it is to kill people with Jax at this point. Use the gunblade, stun him, one shot him pretty much. Shaco thinks he can kill me. Might as well banter it a little since the game is over. So I believe my team is like ending the game while this is happening, so it's like... Yeah, my team is just ending the game while this is going on. This guy dies... Kill the clone for some nice 25 gold. And that's it for the Jack's guide. Um, if you have any questions, comment or send me a message on our Facebook page as usual. Links gonna be in the description. And have fun playing Jax and one with Nining because he's fucking OP and Riot needs to fix him. So, have a nice day.